prophecy in your Bible speaks of a certain time event known as time, times, and the dividing of time. These time, times, and the dividing of times is prophetically known as a seven-year peace treaty. That seven-year peace treaty was signed April 13, 1993, in direct fulfillment of prophecy. Here is that prophecy. And he will confirm a covenant with many for one week. Daniel 9, verse 27. The following information was reported on ABC World News, anchored by Peter Jennings and reported by Jim Bitterman in August 1993. The PLO chairman Yasser Arafat is also hearing those shouts of traitor from within the Palestinian community, which is one reason he is working so hard to get this agreement with Israel sealed, signed, and delivered fast. He wants the Arab leaders behind him. Here's ABC's Jim Bitterman. For the third straight day, Yasser Arafat trooped through Arab capitals seeking political support and money. And as he arrived in Oman at the end of the day, hoping wealthy Persian Gulf states will back him financially, it was becoming clear that peace will be very expensive. In Tunis, the man who led the PLO's secret negotiations with Israel, Ahmed Kouria, told ABC News that the PLO is putting the finishing touches on a seven-year plan, seven-year plan, seven-year plan, seven-year plan, seven-year plan, seven-year plan, seven-year plan to rebuild the occupied territory. If this plan will not be able to be implemented, there will be a catastrophe. The price tag, Korea said, nearly $12 billion, a price that he says must be paid to guarantee the peace agreement. This uh, process, this agreement, can't move without a generous, really, support for, to the development in the occupied territory. Korea said the PLO's first priority will be to rebuild the institutions in the occupied territories to get schools, hospitals, and municipalities working at full strength again to rebuild infrastructure and to reduce unemployment. All of it necessary to meet the expectations of average Palestinians to get them behind the PLO and away from more extremist groups. It's an agreement. There will be a ceremony. Also. But what later? The people, what they are expecting something. If it don't come, then will be a problem. But a more immediate problem is the peace agreement itself. Arafat's advisors are saying tonight the next step will be to convene a PLO executive committee meeting here in the next 24 hours a meeting which must produce official recognition of Israel's right to exist if the peace process is to continue. Jim Bitterman, ABC News, Tunis. This seven-year peace treaty was signed and sealed by the late Yitzhak Rabin and Yasser Arafat on behalf of the Israelis and Palestinians on September 13, 1993, just as was spoken by the prophets long ago for our day known as the last days but peace would not come yet. Israel Hawkins had a mission, and he met with Achman Curia to present to him the peaceful solution character education program so that he might know the way how to achieve true and lasting peace with the Israelis. And he did the same for the Israelis also. What we have seen come to pass is only a small glimpse of what Yahweh has spoken through his holy prophets and why we should believe his prophecies. Yahweh is the only being in the universe who can foretell the future, and his prophecies are true and real and can be relied upon to come to pass. Remember the words of Yeshua Messiah written for our learning in Luke 24, 25. O fools and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. For more exciting prophecies explained for your salvation, be sure to watch the greatest teacher in the world, Yahweh's last day's witness, Israel Hawkins, as he brings forth this and much more on the Prophetic Word program available on Yahweh Prophetic Television or either website at www.yahweh.com or www.israelhawkins.com. For more details of this exciting prophecy, be sure to obtain your copy of the Prophetic Word magazine, authored by Israel Hawkins. Simply call 1-800-613-9494 
or visit our website at www.yahweh.com or write us at The House of Yahweh, P.O. Box 2498, Abilene, Texas, 79604.